What do we know about the wooing that is going on at Facebook? We, we know that they were at a pre-Grammy event on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've been kind of making their rounds uh, around town here in L.A. Uh, and 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 more importantly, you know, their lawyers are talking to 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 the label's lawyers. I, mean, I think that's that's where the the, the magic happens. And uh, and and what they're trying to do is kind of come up with some sort of agreement so that when you or I upload a video on Facebook, that we put some music on it, whatever our favorite song is, that the labels in some way get compensated for that. And that's a pretty complicated thing to do because you have to work out, okay, how is Facebook going to identify when uh, when a song comes up, who, who is it and who they owe money to. Uh, it's uh, a lot of technology behind the scenes that YouTube has had for a while um, and works pretty well or not very well depending on, on whether you're asking the labels or YouTube <laughs> itself. <laughs> Indeed. What would be the impact if Facebook muscles in on this game for the likes of Alphabet's YouTube or some of the other players, particularly the music streaming companies. Right. I mean, it's, it, there's there's all sorts of ramifications here. I mean, so so for for Facebook itself, you know, it, it's it's moving more into video and trying to sell advertising against video. And we don't necessarily think about music as video because obviously you listen to it. But if you think about the most popular way to listen to music uh, right now, it's it's YouTube. You know, you and I think of a song and uh, want to hear it, and then the first thing we do is punch it in, and, and up comes a YouTube video, right? Um, mm -hmm. So Facebook kind of wants to ta horn in on some of that uh, demand. And, 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 and if it does that successfully, then it is a real alternative uh, to YouTube. And, and, and so, you know, in the big battle between those two heavyweights, this becomes another front. For the music labels, of course, this does create another stream of revenue for them uh, besides what they get from YouTube. And it helps them put some pressure on YouTube. You know, all these labels have deals with YouTube as well, and they all have sort of rules about how they govern the copyrights. And so this, this gives them something to whack YouTube with. For the streaming companies, you know, they've, they've been kind of the story of success for the music industry, and they've actually helped the music industry, helped the re record labels grow for the first time in a long time. Um, you know, if, if there's another very popular way for people to listen to music, and oh, by the way, it's free, um, you could start to see some of that growth getting cut into. Uh, so that's, that's a worry both for the streaming companies like Spotify, but also for the labels themselves, so they have, you know, because they get a lot of money from Spotify. So there's a whole kind of balancing act that goes on uh, for the music industry here. And the music industry, the labels, perhaps might be rather pleased by who Facebook's been hiring. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I mean, Facebook's made a couple of key hires, uh, you know, through 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 uh, ju not just the music portion, but also the video portion. And I think there's there's some sense that they're, you know, that's that's how you make a kind of tangible, uh, um, you know, motion to say, I, look, we're 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 listening and we're uh, we're in this for the long haul. And just exploring a little bit about what you mentioned of. Facebook's own original content. They're wanting to get into video. They're wanting to get into their own content. What are some of the roadblocks potentially that could come across by by getting into this act? Sure, sure. Well, of course, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you have to have the right technology to be able to recognize. Okay, someone has just uploaded something that is copyrighted. What do I do with it? So that's the first thing, and that's not easy technology to do. And and like I said, the labels aren't you know always pleased with how YouTube's works, although YouTube says it works very well. Um, so you've got that. Facebook right now is, you know, it's a scrolling news feed, right? We all use it and, and, and it goes through, you know, uh, here, here's your friend's baby pictures, blah, blah, blah. Here's a video from, from somebody <laughs> who's, who's mad about the president, whatever. And, 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 and so when do you, when do you if, if you want to have a music video or something that a label is trying to promote, where does that come in the feed? You know, if Facebook's got to deal with this with their original content in general, right? Um, because it's not really sure kind of where to put it. Uh, and, and how do you make sure it's seen? You know, how do you make sure that, that I know that it's there as a user? These are all things that haven't really been worked out yet.